Right, we've just uh, created our own ISO and own Oracle Linux B DWM with packages we like and love and you can check it out in the package list text here that's also available this is what we decided to install I don't know if we've done GIMP or anything like it so GIMP is included now on this machine on this ISO your personal ISO it's no longer the Arco Linux ISO it's you you've built it yourself that's the power that's the freedom all right let's install this new thing I have some template here which I can clone and I'll call it ALB DWM, right? Articlex B WM. Clone it, load it up. Where is it? In the out folder. So in home, Articlex out, Articlex B out. This is a B variant. Build it yourself. Double click, right control F, full screen. And then of course you decide what you take. Normally it's the first line. If you have issues with the graphical card, you take the second line, right? Not normally everybody, well, 90%, maybe 95% will use number one, line number one, and otherwise try number two if that fails. Now we boot up, we have everything available. Lightm is there. Well, let's say we have enough available to do our thing. So this is our greeting screen, we're live, this is DWM. Not sure how to navigate in this because it's new, it's a tiling window manager, right? But we have help here on the side, you can see already some of the things. Now remember the keyboard shortcuts are always the same everywhere, if they're not reported, should be the same everywhere. So because we have this Ctrl T in our mind and it should launch things, right? So it's all kind of, um, the, the well agreement that all the keyboard shortcuts key bindings are everywhere the same thing now this is the dvd so the usb so we boot first depending on where you live you might want to update arch linux mirrors so if you're living in japan south america and so on check out if you can get faster arch linux mirrors another option is to see where are you installing this does it have a complex structure need i to run need i run gpart to actually clean out the partition select the partition and say delete it right so the button here delete the selected partition there's a virtual box so nothing to do here and then you decide to run calamaris now this thing is in the way and that's why we've made this big button that says quit then you don't need to super q or super shift q to stop the application and yeah you need to know the key bindings right so a quit button makes it more accessible this is our version we're using and off we go it's always the same thing decide if you want to install more it only works if you got an internet connection and if the internet connection is there before you start calamaris because at the moment that you start Calamaris, it's gonna look, do I have internet? No, he says. The variable goes to no. And then later on, you activate your network. Ah, sorry, but Calamaris still says, still has the variable set to no. So first, make sure you got internet, then start Calamaris. And if you got internet, you can select lots of things like give me the latest Linux kernel, um, in the well I'm installing and go get me the latest Linux kernel so when I boot up I got the latest one or get me the Linux LTS and so on so do click this open so you see what's happening right and video settings and video or you say no I rather work on my machine on my computer system with my hardware it's better to work the Linux LTS system it's all about choices and Linux so you go over all the details, whatever you want to have and install. Say, look, I like to have Telegram and WhatsApp is also available and Zoom and so on and so on. So more and more will be installed. Installation will take longer. Why? First, you need to, to download it. Secondly, you need to, need to install it. So whatever you click, the more, the longer it will take. So I'm just going to skip a few of these guys as well and get our stuff. This is 
development. This is beta testers and developers who used it to make copies, to talk to each other, to look something up, to compare something, to make a screenshot and so on. And Brussels is still correct. Belgian keyboard is correct for me. And now we have something new. We can go swap to file. This is a new thing, right? So try it out. Difference is quite clear. Take a look at the image. We got a partition. We got a small partition. We got no partition. And we have no partition. But we do have a swap. Swap to file. Next. And then it's finished, right? Next, next, and done. Then you just wait, sit back, and everything gets created. Calamars, the free installer for Linux, will do its job. It has been improved, it will be improved, it's always getting better and better. And as you can see now, we have more visibility. We have a slider that just moves more consistently, but we do see also numbers move, right? So he's busy. You don't have to think it's going to um, halt or it's hanging or anything. As long as the numbers in the sliders go up, everything is cool. Let me pause the video here because there's not much to see at this point in time. We'll just have to wait. All right, I'm back. Just let the machine do its thing. I walked around and we're at the post installation configurations. And we'll have to wait. Be patient. Everything works. A lot of time to be patient is this particular thing, creating in RAM, in its RAM file system with make in its CPO. Maybe you see that in the updates as well, you see these, um, well, the same, more or less the same um, explanation, and it takes a while. So, and the more kernels you have, the more time it takes as well. So if you do Linux and Linux LTS and the Zen and the Harlot, then, well, yeah, it will take more time. But basically, we just wait. And if you want to have a look, you could do that. It's going to be in. Where is it again in the file system? Oh, it's a bit slow, I guess. Oh, no, I, was, I wasn't clicking. My mistake. Temp, Calamaris, Roots. He is actually making these guys here. Oh, it's done already. Okay, cool. So restart now it says, if you want to delete this or quit this, yeah, control Q is going to work. Super Q is a quit or super shift Q is a quit. Remember Azerti Querti then, and then done. Let's reboot in our personally built Article Linux B DWM. Line three, virtual box, right? And we boot up. And we have added, what did, it, what did we add? GIMP, I think, for instance, applications. Um, so we can quit here, don't want to see this, quit here, don't want, if you know all these keyboard shortcuts out of your head, you said super C, okay, Conkey is gone. And then you can go and ha have a look at um, Control Shift D, GIMP, for instance, and there you go. You can just launch GIMP. It's your system, it's your DWM the way you see it. And of course, if you wanna change DWM, that's a total, uh, total different kind of approach. Then you need to go inside this guy and then build it again, but future tutorials will come on that particular part. All right, so we've built an Articlinux B DWM. We're in control, we have our own ISO, specially of personalized for ourselves. All right, enjoy using the power of Arclinx B and um, make it your own, basically. Cheers.